Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the Hinge Theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Before we start answering this question, which is longer? Is it the side AC or DF of these two triangles? Let us define first and let us state what is meant by the Hinge Theorem. The Hinge Theorem states that if two sides of two triangles are congruent, and the included angle is different, then the angle that is larger is opposite to the longer side. Now, here's the question in this video. Which is longer? Is it AC or DF? In this triangle, this is your side AC. In this triangle, this is your side DF. So how are we going to answer this question? Which one is larger or longer, AC or DF? Now, based on the hinge theorem, these two triangles has two pairs of congruent sides. Here on this triangle, AB is congruent to your DE. They have the, the same measurement, which is 11. While in this triangle, your BC, which is 20 units, is congruent to EF on the other triangle. The difference is their included angle. Here, angle B is 59 degrees. Angle E is 54 degrees. We could say that angle B is greater than the angle E. Now, based on the hinge theorem, listen, if two sides of two triangles are congruent and the included angle is different, they are different, then the angle that is larger, this is larger, is opposite to the longer side. Meaning, this side opposite to your 59 is larger compared to the opposite side of this angle. So the answer here, which is longer, AC or DC, DF, the answer here is AC. I hope guys na nakuha niyo mismong concept about the hinge theorem. Now let's have more examples for you to realize where can you use your the idea of hinge theorem in your studies. So let's have these examples. What we have here is that we need to complete the statement with the symbols less than, greater than, or equal using the idea of the hinge theorem. Let's have this one. MN blank LK. So, which is the appropriate symbol to be used in this kind of situation? Let's check first the given triangles. As you can see, the two sides are congruent of this triangle, and their difference is their angle. So, if you will compare, we have angle J and P, your angle J is greater than your angle P. Now, since angle J is greater than to angle P, let us determine which one is appropriate here. Your MN, your side MN here, is opposite to your angle P. Your side LK is opposite to your angle J, meaning LK is longer than MN. So to complete this statement, since this one is shorter compared to this side, we will use the symbol less than. Side MN is less than side LK. In other words, MN is shorter than LK. That's it, guys. Now let's continue with item number two. For item number two, we have AD blank CD. So let's have these triangles. Here, your AD is opposite to your 36 degree angle. Here, your DC or CD here is opposite to your 32 degree angle. We know that the 36 degree angle is greater than the 32 degree angle. Since this one is greater than, meaning your side AD is longer, this side AD is longer than DC. So we will use this greater than symbol. We have AD is greater than CD. Let's continue. Let's have number 3. TR blank UR. So where is side TR? This is side TR. Opposite to your 22 degree angle. Your UR, this is UR, 
is opposite to your 24 degree angle. So we know that this 22 degree angle opposite to your TR is less than 24 degree angle which is opposite to your UR. Meaning the appropriate symbol here to use is the less than symbol. So that's it guys for item number 3. And for this item, guys, I will let you to answer in the comment section which is the appropriate symbol to be used to compare side AC and side DC. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to use the hinge theorem in comparing the sides of a given triangle. So if you want to follow me on my different social media accounts, subscribe here to our YouTube channel, Mati Chergon. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, we have a cause teacher gone and also in our TikTok account. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher gone. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.